Here they are for the first division of the Tompkins Gear Stake two-year-old Cole Trot, sponsored by Steeplechase Village Affordable Luxury Rentals. Number one is Genius of Myself, and by the partnership of Moore, Easter Day, and Reed, Steve Carter trains, Dave Hawk is up. The two is over soft, owned by Ronald Dale and Linda E. Randall. Ronald Randall trains, Jim Joyner drives. Number three is Giant Winner Vita, owned by Rex Parker, trained and driven by Rodney Bolin. Four, Peerless Price, owned by Patricia Adams. Trainer Bill Irvin drives. Five is Really Suspicious, owned by Ivan Sugg, the trainer, and the driver is Duke Sugg. Six, Perfect Game K, under lease to Bob Key, trained by Francisco Del Cid with Jeff Foud. And the seven is Dunkster, owned by Dean Davis, trained and driven by Kurt Sugg. Post time for the fourth race in six minutes. To your old trotters, there they go. And they're off. Going off stride, the five really suspicious. Over soft, trots out for the lead. There's Dunkster from the far outside. Genius of Myself comes away at the rail in third. It's too farther back to Giant Winner Vita in fourth. Peerless Price backs down into a hole in fifth position. Three clear of Perfect Game K. And much farther back to the trailer, Really Suspicious, who is still off stride as they move to the head of the stretch. And it's Kurt Sugg leading the way with Dunkster. Dunkster is on top in 29 and 4. Passing the stands for the first time, it's Dunkster. The striking Sabra Colt Dunkster is in command by two lengths, being tracked by Oversoft in second, a two and a half length gap to Genius of Myself in third. Spread out three more lengths to Giant Winner Vita, followed by Peerless Price, then three and a half to Perfect Game K, and much farther back to Really Suspicious, who is now back trotting but trailing the field. Heads turn for halftime, and it's Dunkster on the lead. Dunkster a length and a half clear. Oversoft along the inside is second, followed by Genius and myself at the rail in third, and the half goes in one minute and two. Along the inside, Giant Winner Vita is racing in fourth position, then two and a half more to Peerless Price, who's being called on for more. Two back to Perfect Game K, and much farther back to Really Suspicious. Less than three-eighths of a mile left to travel as they head midway through the backstretch with Dunkster trying to take them all the way. Dunkster unchallenged on the lead, has it by close to two lengths from Oversoft in second, just outside of him is Genius of Myself. Giant Winner Vita looks to come on from three wide and is rallying with four lengths to make up, followed by Peerless Price and three back to Perfect Game K in 1.30 and 3. Moving around to head stretch, it's Dunkster leading the way, but the leading margin is dwindling. Giant Winner Vita's closing in on the outside. Oversoft is third. Peerless Price still with a long way to come. Giant Winner Vita on the outside takes over the lead. Dunkster is off stride. Then we come to Oversoft, Peerless Price, and Perfect Game K. First division of tonight's Tompkins Gears goes to Giant Winner Vita, winning it in 201. Finishing second. Off stride was the seven Dunkster. Then it was Oversoft and Peerless Price. Heading back to the winner's circle is Giant Winner Vita, a two-year-old Bay Colt by American Winner out of Princess Pine by Giant Victory, owned by Rex Lee Parker of Morrow, Ohio. The winning trainer driver is Rodney Bolin. Mile in 201 flat, taking the first division of tonight's Tompkins Gears. This one's sponsored by Steeplechase Village Affordable Luxury Rentals, and in the winner's circle, representing Steeplechase Village, helping make the trophy presentation, Guy Elijah Ste Stephan. Matthew Purrington. And ladies and gentlemen, the judges have found insufficient evidence to render a disqualification. The order of finish remains as is, 3-7-2. Three seven exact. It comes back one hundred nineteen dollars and forty cents. The try three seven two seven hundred sixty eight even.